Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I'm here on the Ray Miller Trail hike at La Jolla Canyon. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually the Ray Miller Trail. I think it's a fire road after the trail. I'm heading down towards uh, the campground, one of two uh, overnight campgrounds in the Santa Monica Mountains. Um, so I'm going to go see what it looks like right now because there's been a huge fire around here. And uh, the other trail over on the other side is impassable right now. I tried, but I couldn't get through. Somebody else got through, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> so um, I just thought I'd mention on the heels of the recent geostorm, um, because geostorms cause newospheric uh, uh, discord. Uh, discordant sounds in the Claire chatter on the astral plane and so I just thought I'd mention something about keeping the electromagnetic field steady during solar events and geostorms. If you live in a large city and want to escape uh, newospheric chatter because of a, a solar event or geostorm and because you're becoming increasingly electromagnetic uh, field sensitive. Um, I can suggest three kinds of natural barriers that uh, will allow you to break away from the like the, the, the great newosphere of the city and um, and renew your own electromagnetic field to its pristine state. One is uh, a north-south valley, steeply inclined mountains on either side is best. And uh, you situate yourself in the low part of the valley. And uh, the reason this seems to work, even if the valley is very close to or even in the middle of a city, is that the rotation of Earth creates a movement in the astral currents of the fourth dimension and these are the astral currents are what carries the newospheric uh, thought forms and um, and so really the north south facing valley is at the bottom of two barriers that keep the newospheric energy um, skimming over the tops of those mountains it's flowing in a, in a west east manner and uh, so you're safe from that and you can recuperate there. Another type of barrier is a deep bowl shape, say a uh, circle of mountains or um, it could be um, a meteor depression uh, where you're at the bottom of that or it could be a volcanic depression provided the volcano is completely dorm dormant that kind of thing, a circle of hills and you're at the bottom of that and that also is protection because because of the movement of Earth and um, and so the thought forms are skimming over the top of your bowl you're safely there and the last thing I can think of is simply if you're living in a big city find a mountain barrier uh, facing in any direction on the other side of your city and go beyond that barrier behind the mountains there okay because the the thought forms in a city tend to kind of settle down around that spread they spread out kind of like smog and so if the if the mountain range that you're considering to hide behind or um, use as a barrier prevents the smog from spreading, it's likely that it prevents the newospheric energy from spreading too. For people who live in very flat places, as you know, underground is a possibility, like there are tornado shelters and so forth in, in Kansas, right? And uh, usually there are underground parking lots that may be helpful. To me, they seem too weighty. There are others who swear by that. In rural areas, uh, an underpass 
that's never well traveled. If you if we pull over on the side of the underpass, and if it's for a, if it's widely covered on top, and if it's cement, then that also will stop the noospheric chatter for a while. So, for instance, if you're driving along and you're heading for one of these other places, and and things get uh, kind of intense then you can pull over and rest in a, in a place like that on a road that is a freeway access that uh, that really goes nowhere and that has no traffic on it. So I think it's the weight of the cement overhead that's, that's, that allows you to renew your own electromagnetic field. Um, being in nature, especially in a forest, or a desert or by the seashore, that, that allows a renewal of the personal electromagnetic field. Uh, just being in your own home, uh, very quietly in your own home, and not going out is a very good idea during a geostorm. So, no doubt you're going to come up with many more ideas than I've come up with. Of course, these things only apply if you're uh, electromagnetic field sensitive. Uh, and a lot of people are starting to become uh, somewhat more electromagnetic field sensitive. So um, if you're really bothered by, by a particular storm, then these are things to consider for the day or for the afternoon or whenever. So there you have it. Wishing you happy trails until next we meet.